The process of sending code to a build server through SSH delivered on the goals of reliably converting source code in C to a program executable. Once on the build server, we wrote out compiler flags and sent them to the compiler, in this case GCC, to convert software source code into a program file. We then copied the program file to the local desktop environment. We ran and debugged the software uh, program and used SCP to post edits we compiled into an updated version of the program file. SCP was used again to retrieve the updated program file. A more streamlined way to compile code exists called make. Make takes a make file. However, maintaining make files as code files change can undermine our train of thought. A more streamlined way to get the benefits of make files exist in the form of bake file. A bake file XML file is used to more conveniently generate a make file that is then used to conveniently and efficiently convert software source code to program executable form. I've started a bake file and the bake file on the left side of the screen reflects the command line directives used earlier. Although it seems like more typing than what we did on the command line itself, the benefit comes as the project grows. You can use a bake file by passing it to the bake file command. The bake file command will validate that the bake file is in the correct format and then create a make file based on the instructions you have defined. Here I've gotten the format off and I need to make a modification in order to get the bake file in the proper format. The resultant make file that is produced from the bake file process can be used to compile software. A software program called Make has existed for decades and it is highly mature and extremely reliable. When it reads a properly written make file, it is able to detect if compiling the code is even necessary. It does this by looking at timestamps on the files. As a project grows, the number of potential files that have to be recompiled also grows. And those recompiles can take time. A good make file can save a lot of time and speed up the process of creating updated programming files during testing. The less time spent revising code and reviewing the results means you can speed your transition to other areas in a larger program. As you can see, an actual make file can be quite extensive even for a simple program. A bake file takes a fraction of the time needed to tailor an update compared to the effort required to maintain an actual make file.